Hello, I am back with Leviticus. <laughs> this me me being goofy. Leviticus 11. Uh, don't mind me. <laughs> okay. Foods permitted and forbidden. Now the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron. And Aaron saying to them, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, These are the animals which you can eat among all the animals that are on the earth. Among the animals, whatever divides the hoofs, having cloven hoofs and chewing the cod, that you may eat. Neitherless, these you shall not eat among those that chew the cod or those that have cloven hoofs. The camel, because it chews the cod but does not have cloven hooves, is unclean to you. The rock, rock X? What the heck is that? I don't know. Okay, because it chews the cod but does not have cloven hooves, is unclean to you. The hare, because it chews the cod but does not have cloven hooves, is unclean to you. And the swine, the divides the hoof, having cloven hoofs, yet does not chew the cod, is unclean to you. Their flesh shall not eat, their carcass you shall not touch. They are unclean to you. These you may eat of all that are in the water. Whatever in the water has fins and scales, whether in the seas or in the rivers, that you may eat. But all in the seas or in the, the rivers that do not have fins or scales, all that move in the water or any living thing which is in the water, they are abomination to you. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. I did not realize that. Uh, whatever in the water does not have fins or scales, that shall be an abomination to you. Ryan saying okay because I ate eaten calamari and I did not realize that fins and scales are fine to eat fish wise in the water, but ones that don't have scales and fins you're not supposed to eat. Um, yeah, that's a good uh, that's a good thing that I found out. Um, anyway, I'll continue. Got a little off the top off that subject. And these you shall regard as abomination among the birds. They shall not be eaten. They are abomination. The eagle, the vulture, the buzzard, the kite, and the falcon after its kind. Every raven after its kind. The ostrich, the short ear owl, the seagull, the hawk after its kind, and the little owl, the fisher owl, the screech owl, the white owl, the jack do, and the canary vulture. Carrying vulture, the stock, the her heron after its kind, the hoopa, and the bat. Well, I don't need any of those anyway, so. <laughs> I don't need any of those anyway. All flying insects that creep on all fours shall be abomination to you. Yet these you may eat of every flying insect that creeps on all fours. Those which have jointed legs above their feet, which to leap on the earth. These you may eat, locusts after his kind, destroying locusts after his kind, the cricket after his kind, and the grasshopper after his kind. But all other flying insects which have four feet shall be abomination to you. So that's interesting because you can eat insects. I know people will go, oh, that's disgusting. But if you notice, it's mostly... Uh, grasshoppers, locusts, and crickets, which all those ones almost look exactly the same anyway. But you can eat those because those are fine. But all the other insects you can't eat. Which means the French are abomination because they eat ants. <laughs> oh, that's a joke. <laughs> but in serious matters, yeah, basically, if back in this turn, this time, they ate ants that would be abomination so sorry if there's any French people out there sorry about this <laughs> anyway I just yeah I'm just joking around because we know that law of these but it's good information to know what you can and cannot eat um, so anyway 
getting off topic again. So, but it's good to, you know, talk about stuff like this. Yeah, unclean animals. By these you shall become unclean. Whoever touches the carcass of any of them shall be unclean till evening. Whoever carries part of the carcass of any of them shall wash his clothes and be unclean till evening. The carcass of any animal which divides a foot, but is not cloven, hoofed, or does not chew the cod, is unclean to everyone who touches it. It shall be unclean. And whatever goes on its paws among all the kinds of animals that go on all fours, those are unclean to you. Whoever touches any such carcass shall be unclean till evening. Whoever carries any such carcass shall wash his clothes and be unclean until evening. It is unclean to you. These also shall be unclean to you among the creeping things that creep on the earth. The mole, the mouse, the large lizard after its kind, the gecko, the mo monitor lizard, the sand reptile, the sand lizard, and the chameleon. These are unclean to you among all the creep, all that creep, excuse me. Whoever touches them when they are dead shall be unclean till evening. Anything on which any of them falls when they are dead shall be unclean, whether it is any item of wood, clothing, or sackcloth. Whatever item it is in which any work is done, it must be put in water, and it shall be unclean till evening. Then it shall be clean. Any earthen vessel in which any of them falls you shall break, and whatever is in it shall be unclean. In such a vessel, any edible food upon which water falls up becomes unclean. Any drink that may be drunk from it becomes unclean. And anything on which a part of any such carcass falls shall be unclean. Whether it is an oven or a cooking stove, it shall be broken down, for they are unclean. And it shall be unclean to you. Neither, neitherless a spring or a chasm in which there is plenty of water shall be clean. But whatever touches any such carcass becomes unclean. And if a part of any such carcass falls on any planting seed which is to be shown, it remains clean. But if water is put on the seed, if part of any such carcass falls on, it becomes unclean to you. And if any animal which you may eat dies, he who touches a carcass shall be unclean till evening. He who eats of its carcass shall wash his clothes and be unclean till evening. He also who carries its carcass shall wash his clothes and be unclean till evening. And every creep of thing that creeps on the earth shall be an abomination. It shall, it shall not, it shall not be eaten. Okay. Tongue getting tied there for a little bit. Whatever crawls on its belly, whatever goes on all fours, whatever has many feet among creeping things that creep on earth, these you shall not eat, for they are abomination. You shall not make yourselves abominable with any creeping thing that creeps, nor shall you make yourselves unclean with them, lest you be defiled by them. For I am the Lord God, you shall therefore consecrate yourselves, and you shall be holy, for I am holy. Neither th shall you defile yourselves with any creepy thing creeps on the earth. For I am the Lord who brings you up out of the land of Egypt. To be your God, you shall therefore be holy, for I am holy. This is the law of the animals and the birds, and every living creature that moves on the waters, and every creature that creeps on the earth. Distinguish between the unclean and the clean, between the animal that they may be eaten and the animal that may not be eaten. So that was 11, talking about certain animals you could eat that were clean, and then talking about the unclean animals, and then talking about the unclean carcasses, touch them. If you go back, I think it was in Exodus, it talks about when you become unclean, you have to go outside the camp where all the other Israelites are because you're considered unclean until evening. At least it's until evening. It's not, well, you have to be out there for 24 hours that are two days or whatever, uh, which is 
at least they can sit out outside of camp for until evening and then they'll be clean again. Um, yeah, but there's a lot of rules the Israelites had to follow. Unfortunately, these days, because of the Roman soldiers, um, the Roman politicians basically made the Pharisees lie to the Israelites, telling them, and the Pharisees lied to the Israelites, basically telling them, oh, Jesus told the, which are the Jews now, those by Israelites are Jews. Basically, the Pharisees lied to them, said, oh, Jesus wasn't the Son of God. They covered that whole thing up. But back then there, there was Roman politicians, there was politicians back then, but the Pharisees, when it comes to the Jewish peoples, the Pharisees were like modern day politicians, liberals, they were liars. Not all of them were bad. Um, there's one that did become, believe that Jesus was the Son of God, and that was, uh, I can't remember what his name is, but we'll be getting into that down the road. Uh, talk about him, but he was one of the Pharisees that believed Jesus was the Son of God. What has caught happened is a lot of the Jewish peoples these days, not all of them, because a lot of them are become believers, but a, lot of, a bunch of them still believe that, you know, Jesus has, that God's Son hasn't come yet. That he hasn't died on the cross, which has already happened. What we are in now is the end times. Um, but even if, let's say, that Jesus comes, takes a takes a bunch of people away, disappeared, left behind. I know for a fact when that happens, whatever Jewish ones that still don't believe will honestly become believers during that time, which is good. But it's, it's also sad too, because you'd wish that they would, you know, realize it sooner instead of later. So, but anyway, the, yeah, there was a lot of laws. These laws were all, uh, a lot of these laws are not provided anymore. Ten Commandments are still, but we break Ten Commandments. I mean, we're not perfect. I've broken, I don't know how many Ten Commandments I've broken there. Uh, but the nice thing is because Jesus died on the cross for our sins, all you have to do is go to Jesus and ask for forgiveness for our sins. And those sins will be wiped away clean. Now there's a lot of people that think we're supposed to hold on to the bad stuff. No. We're supposed to let it go. Because God, what do you think God does? You think God remembers what we do? Do you think he remembers the sin we did? No. He wipes it clean. He forgets it. The only one that remembers it is the enemy. The enemy is the only one that throws up back at your face and says, goes like this and goes, hey, you remember that time that you hit someone? You remember that time you stole that thing? But because of the forgiveness of Christ, we can say, uh, 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 Satan, no. You cannot throw that in my face because I know God has forgiven me for my sin. He has forgotten it. It is gone. That doesn't mean you repeat what it is, but don't throw it in people's face. There's people that I've known that throw, constantly throw stuff in my face about what I've done. And that's coming exact from the enemy. The enemy is telling them to do that. Throw that thing in their face. The enemy likes to use people to do that. But I also realize that God's forgiven me. That doesn't mean you forget what you did. But that doesn't that also means don't hold on to that. You need to let it go. Give it up to God. 
ask forgiveness, give it to God, pray, and then whatever situation is, give it up to God. Do not hold on to it. Trust me. The more you hold on to it, the more you will feel worse and you will not be happy. You will be miserable, uncomfortable. I know what I'm talking about because I've gone through that. And I've learned if things start to bother me, that I pray, I give to God and say, God is yours. You take care of that problem. I cannot handle it. It is in your hands now. Instead of holding on to it and going around here. <laughs> because honestly, people don't like to be around cranky people. And I can tell by the video that shaving, well, the razor that I've been using, electric razor is not working very well. I'm going to have to go back to a uh, regular shaver. Anyway, well, that's a weird conversation. I'm going off now. <laughs> But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Father, help this message reach people. Help them to come to you, Father, and ask for forgiveness. Help them to pray when situations are out of their hands. Help them to let it go. Give it up to you. Because we know that you will take care of that situation. We talk to you about it. Pray to you, Father, and just let it go and not hold on to it, Father. Jesus, heavenly name, amen.